What up, car cousin, folks? I'm finally gonna get this goddamn thing dyno. It's gonna take all day, all night. We'll be fooling with it, but I've got things going on right now, and it's been really busy out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, man, I just want to get the damn car on a dyno. I've been saying I was gonna do that forever. I scheduled something with the place at Kingwood tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what we get done. So let's go on over to that day, guys. Let's go on over to that day. It's time to get this thing some numbers. Great first run, but things are running a little bit lean up top and it's breaking up, so I'm going to add 5% fuel and then we're going to reflash the tune of the quarter horse and send it. Pull to 6500 looked phenomenal, but we are going to need more fuel up top, and the intake air temperatures are over 280 because it's getting hot out there. This time we're going to pull her to 6800 RPM and see if the horsepower keeps climbing. and 50 rear wheel horsepower at 6800 rpm on a mustang dyno on a 90 degree day in texas 280 degree intake air temperatures and 13 degrees of timing up top on pure e85 i have to say the car did its thing it worked phenomenal unfortunately beyond that 6800 and even at 6500 we're running out of fuel air fuel ratios we're getting up to 11 8 11 9 and that's the bitter end for it if we wanted to pull further we could add more injector more fuel pump and i think the car would make power even up to or beyond 7000 rpm you look at the graphs and you look at the scales and it was making power all the way to the top and things were getting squirrely as that fuel started to run short on us with that said you guys stay tuned because the marauder's coming up next and we're putting that thing on the dyno and we're gonna make it work